everybody, and welcome to the Money Man, SA Rugby, James Dalton, Mark Yohane show. <laughs> Interesting <laughs> hello, week Kevin. of... Hello, James. Thank you for acknowledging me. It's my pleasure, Kevin. <laughs> um, good weekend in rugby. A lot of a lot of stuff. Let's start with uh, let's start with an unusual incident at Twickenham. Um, put up on the screen for you to, to have a look at it play, and then folks digest that. Okay, there you have it. A little bit of um, afters. The game that had a lot of feeling, apparently. <laughs> it took a while to get there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been an interesting one because you've got, it's a very divided response with people saying it should never be allowed in the game. The genitalia is, is kind of off limits. Uh, IRB says it's... Uh, Stranger danger? Yeah, 12 weeks till, uh, till life ban. Uh, Gareth Thomas, who uh, Captain Wales, over 100 tests, is openly gay, said he would never retire, even though they were still allowed. <laughs> He's had to apologize subsequently for that. Uh, Why is that? Because well, the political correctness? The correctness, yeah. Uh, some people are saying that uh, Alan Wynne Jones should lay a sexual assault case against uh, Joe Marler. Joe Marler says, to quote on Twitter, it's all bollocks. So, <laughs> so it's, uh, but he has been cited. He has been cited. Um, what I just look at that incident. What an phrase. It's all bollocks. I, I look at that incident and it, like, he kept on saying to the touch judge, just look, look, I'm going in, I'm going yep. in. Apparently he's a bit disconcerted because he uh, said it took him a while to get there. <laughs> <laughs> I saw he was rolling a bit like putty. Yeah. And you're the captain rolling. of Wales? <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? In, in, in his defence, it was the, the, the. There's no roof for Twickenham, and it was a bit chilly, a bit nippy. Yeah, and um, uh, sure. Shame, but he, he uh, it was an interesting press conference that Alan Wynne Jones also conducted, because he, they spoke about the incident. He said, "Would you would you qualify the incident?" And they said, "When he did, he said he did what? He got them to say basically he went for your genitalia, and then he said, and if I'd hit him, I get a red card, and I'm the captain of Wales. So he seemed quite annoyed by it." Qualify or quantify? Quantify, yeah. <laughs> Apparently they couldn't quantify it, but they just qualified it. Lack of size. <laughs> to uh, be uh, grabbing you by uh, a central area. Can you specify again? Jen Uh Yeah, um, it's interesting. Um, what would you do in that situation, Nick? I thought you did well not to react. Wow, well, 138 tests for my country. You know, funny, I react. I get a red card. So, it's tough, isn't it? You know, handbags at 10 paces is my good comment on it. It's like, what, what, it shouldn't even be a talking point. It was pretty funny. The world's lost its sense of humor, I think. Yeah, the world has gone mad in every sense. Uh, no. The fact, I think the fact that it took him so long to find it is the, is, is, is the embarrassment that yeah. everyone is, is, is suffering through. You've got to say the, the rugby world's gone mad when the Bulls win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the Blues in the same weekend. Ah, unbelievable. Okay, well, Alan, when you know, suck it up, buddy. Well, it's not that amazing. It's, it's, it's not. It's not that amazing, yeah. especially when uh, when I've called both of them to it. So, you know. well, time to bring the chart out, eh? The well, super brew seems to be coming quite easy for me now. Well, you know, it's amazing. Uh, you, you did say you Don't were the touch. person that didn't want to tell people that they told you so, but you did tell us you told us yeah, so. Yeah, so. I think I think just a bit of. Uh, James, two a swallows don't summer come. Yeah, there we go. There we go. This the swallowing of the bird. Two swallows that's not for a career maker. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let's talk some scenes now. <laughs> okay, so last week we had the Jaguars brushing aside the, um, the, 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 the Jaguars being brushed aside by the Sharks. Sharks continuing with their imp imp impressive performance and have to be the darlings of the competition right now, just simply on the way that they're playing. They definitely are the darlings. Love watching them play. Unfortunately, it's going to end on Saturday for them. <laughs> They're going to kind of be struck with a bit of South African derby reality. Oh, God. You'll find the Stormers oh, have had two weeks yeah, yeah. to spew about being manhandled and bullied by the Blues. I have it on good authority that they will basically beat up that Sharks pack. On yeah, well, they better do it before the game starts. Well, look, I think, I think that was, the, that was the, the presumption was that the Jaguars would bully and beat the yeah. Sharks back up. Yeah. And surprisingly, they actually stood their ground and did it actually very, very well. 
Well, as they I've... were not pushed off the ball. No. They were competitive at scrum time. Their lineouts were good. They were competitive in all facets of the game. But you, you remember, well, you may not remember this, but back in 96, I attended my first rugby game in this country. And there was a few guys playing in orange and, and white that uh, hadn't made a name for themselves yet. And I watched the game with a friend of mine, and he was disgusted when I said, that orange team's going to win this game. And who was in that orange team? But you had Fenton, you had Rassi, and, if, and one or two other guys that, that made a name for themselves. And maybe maybe what we're seeing with the What's Sharks is... A, yeah. But but there was a, there was a collect there's a collective with the sharks pack that that, that collectively they paid be better than they do individually. And lots well, what's impressive what's impressive there is that the reality is, guys, there's no rock stars in that in that forward pack. There's no Springboks. There's no standout World Cup winners in that. No team. Bon Jovi's. Uh, well, there we go. Something like that. But uh, like you say, collectively and cohesively, everybody's doing his bit. And if everyone's doing his bit collectively, it's adding up to, to be impressive and successful. Yes. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know, I, I, on, the, on the other side is the, 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 the shark success is coming off um, most, most people can interpret it as other teams' mistakes, uh, maybe kicking down their throat too much, which is a, their strength. So I don't know if the Stormers can deprive them of, of kicking the ball down downfield. Rather well, kick it out. Even so if they eliminate those 50-50 engagements, maybe it could be a, a different turnout. Look, even with the even, I mean, that's just the way they play. They force pressure. They force these teams into mistakes, and they take advantage of. They they look for the intercept pass. Yeah. You know, when you it's um, it's all and teams are chasing games. And when they're chasing games, that's when you make mistakes and you're trying to look for that pass that isn't there. And right. um, fair play to them. I mean, uh, we'll get into the mock selection. Um, in a little while, I just need time to digest and laugh at it because he's clearly been hanging out with with uh, the double again. Look, the the word from the camp. <laughs> the word from the camp. <laughs> the word from the camp is that Jean Luc will play at ten. And Damien will the play. The word from 15. the camp is you stalking them. And uh, <laughs> the word from the camp is all the pressures on the sharks. Okay, and uh, and I just well, spoke clearly, I mean, because the Stormers <laughs> have lost the last game. That you're only as good as your last game, so they've lost. Yeah, so obviously, the pressures. And on it's an team. away game, eh? So. If they did drop an away game, it's not the end of the world. Uh, the Sharks still have to come to Newlands. Last year, very close games between the two teams. And historically, over the last five years, Province slash the Stormers have won in Durban, and Sharks slash mm. the Super Rugby Sharks have won in Cape Town. Uh, so when one has gone in as a favourite, the other one seems to have pitched mm. up. Mm. I think that the Stormers will bring an intensity and a mongrel to this that the Sharks haven't experienced yet in the competition. They didn't get it in New Zealand. They certainly didn't get a fired-up Jaguar side. I was really disappointed with their performance. Mark, I think I think you're you're overrating the Storms, to be quite honest. Um, I mean, they were just overrun by the Blues, and the, you know, if they can't even bring Mungrel, Bruce is the on Blues. the couch going, "Yeah, yeah. James, you well, tell." But you know, I'm I'm going to say this. For me, what I find is also the success of the Sharks is that they have the ability to actually play the Springbok game plan that was successful in a World Cup to to a Hundred percent. I mean, the depth on the on the high ball, the ability to recover that, the ability to gain meters with a kick. Why can't the Stormers do it? I don't know. Maybe, maybe they just don't have the, enough quality of, of of back three to to recover to recover that ball or enough urgency. But the shock, I th I think it's all about the kick. If that kick doesn't have the right distance, if it doesn't have the right height, it doesn't give you enough time to get into a position to recover it and and flick it back onto onto your side. Look, Bosch, Bosch has played very well at ten. Uh, well, we have, we all, I think we, all, we also have to give the coaching staff some, some much due credit here. Because whatever coach, uh, what's the guy's name? Everett, Sean Everett. Sean yeah. Everett. Um, he's doing one hell of a job down there. And, and he's got them playing for him. Look, this, this match is going to be, it's an old cliche, it's going to be determined up front in the collisions. And the Stormers... Did you say determined? Determined. Okay. Uh, instead of dictated. You sort of <laughs> thinking of Alan let's, leave, let's, let's uh, leave the dick out of this. Okay, Richard. Uh, so I, I, see the, I see the Stormers cutting off that supply of ball, being stronger uh, at the break. And I think where a guy like Yaku uh, Kutsia is going to be very, very influential in this game. Yeah. And uh, if Jean-Luc does play at 10, you're going to find a far more conservative game plan. And he has the ability to play a running game yeah. and Damon to create some magic from the back. It could be the spark that they need and you're sticking uh, Dylan Lates on the wing where you can interchange. I just, I, I've loved watching the Sharks this year, but I think this 
you could find that the Sharks play a Stormers team that is in finals mentality, that are going to play conservatively and don't want to win, and that team doesn't quite know how to cope with it. You know, if my aunt had balls, she'd be my uncle. I'm backing the Stormers to win it by five James, points. We, we have to go. We, Mark's broken all protocol and gone straight into it, so we're going to have to. We're going to have to. He can't have that sort of uh, platform without us sort of having our say. So he's, so he's, he's bullying us. Yeah. Stop bullying us. It's just the start of what's going to happen on Saturday. <laughs> you wearing black? <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on. Default, right? What do we? What do we? What, well, what, what Mark's, are we saying? Well, he's Mark's laid down a heavy marker for um, for for a Stormers win. I think that's what he look. Wants. It's going to be it's going to be a tactical game. I'm saying the the the, the downfall for or the negative for the Stormers is they come off a loss and a bye. Okay, I do believe with the losses, Peter Steff, it's going to further dent their, their confidence. I think the tactical changes of Jean Luc at ten, the change of Dylan Lates and and Willemson fullback is going to bring a different dynamic on the back three and the ability to play a, a, a different style of attacking rugby mm-hmm. with Jean Luc. So that's going to be significant different. Only the weekend will... will Do you think it's a positive or not? No, absolutely. I think it's a massive positive. I don't think Willem so shot the lights out at fly off. I think, in fact, he was, a, he was the, the weak link. link. Yeah. Um, also, if you look at his kicking, and you compare the kicking of Kerwin mm-hmm. Bosch at the moment, if you just look at, looked at that on, 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 on the day, um, that's where the Sharks have the upper hand, is able to convert... Uh, 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 mistake opportunities into three points, so that's where they have the advantage. But uh, again, this will be a tactical game, and if you can deprive the Sharks of those turnover, uh, kicking the ball down, getting them to run back at you, eliminating their ability to turn the high kick into into possession again, it could be a different. Who's going to win? Sharks will win. By how much? By ten. <laughs> My brother, look at the stats. <laughs> Yeah, the sharks. The sharks are good. Okay. Now, yeah. right, now I'll tell you what's really going to happen. <laughs> I'm listening with bated breath. Mark, you've been dubbified. You, I, I don't know what <coughs> happened to you. Your objectivity's gone out the window. James, I think you're more accurate. James? Thank you so much. But you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding, Mark. Yeah. I can't see it. I can't see the Stormers beating the Sharks after what I've been seeing. You look at the you look at the Jaguars, the Jaguars B side. They barely beat a Jaguars B side. And it's not that I'm turning, I'm just looking at some facts. Oh, you have little faith. No, it's it's just, I'd love Kevin's to... clearly following a wise man. And that yeah, wise I'm, man sits in the middle. I'll introduce you to him some someday again. <laughs> um, if you look at it from from the they lost to a blue side that yeah, showing improvement, but still not convinced on. They barely beat a bull side. Um, in Pecoria. I just, I, I just, maybe we have overhyped the, uh, uh, maybe I've overhyped, overhyped the, uh, the Stormers. And, uh, they lost so badly to the Blues last week. You know what, for me, is another, uh, don't differentiator. Worry, I, don't worry about it, Jeff. You no. just go ahead. Yeah. No, but, no, but I'm no. agreeing with you. You know what I think is another differentiator between the teams? Is that the Sharks play towards the ball. If you look how they, they, play off each other. In other words, they play to play again. And that, for me, is a big differentiator also between the two times. The, the Stormers are, are direct but one-dimensional. Yeah, so they'll they, take it up, they go to ground, they clean it out, they recycle it again. Yeah. The Sharks yeah. will make that contact and they look for the offload. They look yeah. to run, play, play again. So they're looking and for multiple contact. options. And the, well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And with them, they keep the ball in the air. And when you're keeping the ball in the air, it's very difficult to realign and, and defend, yeah. as opposed to when the ball's going to the ground, it's easy, easy then to realign defensively. Yeah. Yeah. And easy not to overcommit. Well, oh, exactly. Yeah. Are you guys convincing yourselves about the Sharks win there? Well, I, th- I think so far the momentum seems to be that way. Cool. Okay, <laughs> so we're into it, whether we want it to be or not. Uh, Mark's going... What are you going on Superbrew, Mark? Come on. Shark, uh, Sharks to lose by five. So Storm, Storm is to, to win, win by five. five. That's the half-empty sort of... Uh, you know, optimism. No, not at no, all. Okay, yeah, I yeah. wanted to emphasize the Sharks to lose. Okay, Mark's picking the, <laughs> the Stormers by five. Bruce Fockenfall is just literally thrown up. I can just imagine him just... But uh, he's comforted by the fact that James has yeah, picked the he, Sharks. He will find a lot of comfort in James picking them by ten. Being a Derby, I'm going to say that the Sharks by seven. But it could get ugly. It could get ugly. Anyway, that's our picks. Okay, now we're into it, so we're going to go... Ch- Let's look at the Chiefs and the Hurricanes. Bookies favoring the Chiefs by six and a half. 
Good bet. <laughs> Good bet. <laughs> Which way? For the Chiefs to win by more than six and a half or the Hurricanes to cover six and a half? Hurricanes to cover six and a half. Okay. Chiefs to win, Hurricanes yeah. to cover six and a half. Yeah. James? You know, I always have a wild card. I'm going to go Harry Canes by three. Hmm. Okay. It's not really a wild card. No, but it's I more think 50 -50 game. No, I think it's more I'm, 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 I'm favoring the Harry Canes. Okay. Yeah. I think they've uh, they started. You know, going for the Sun Wolves is a wild card. <laughs> not going for the yeah, but everybody likes the Chiefs. But I will, I'm going to go for the Harry Canes. Why not? If not, why not? <sighs> Look again, the, Hur the, the, the Chiefs, both mm. two good sides. Hurricanes starting to come into a bit of form. You know, starting to play up to some of their potential. But they need to play with 50 this year. Well, Down to enough. 12 against the Blues when they lost. Yeah. So, yeah. in a New Zealand derby, invariably someone's going to the bit. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm going to pick the Chiefs by one in yeah. my Super Bowl, Mark. Chiefs uh, to win by five. Okay. Oh, we're there and they're about. Okay, Blues Lions. Jeez, I can't even believe we're betting on this game. <laughs> Blues to favorite by 15 and a half. Yeah, I would, I would say that's pretty accurate. The, the Lions are just, oh, good Lord. Well, the Blues haven't won at home this year, so they've won four on the road. <laughs> yeah. So if you, stranger things could happen. You know, the Lions could pitch up and do something. But uh, I think they'll cover the 15 and a half, the Lions, but Blues to win. Okay. By 10. What, what, what sums it up for me still with, with the Lions is how the coach, who's a fitness coach, and they don't even look like they fit, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, me. they fall off. Eh? Yeah, um, is that uh, pre-season he said he'll, he'll decide who will be part of the process and he will see what success looks like. Well, wow. so far they ain't seen much success. And I don't see Either that or he just got a little benchmark for what he thinks success looks like. And also, you know what's disappointing for me is that they've gone and invested in, in I don't know, Creel and Duplessis and, and, I like Dan and, Creel. and, and Alberts. I mean, what a waste of money. And, and this crap of them saying rebuilding phase. So if you're rebuilding, rather pull yourself out the competition. And then go build, and then come back. No, it's it's because yeah, you make a good point. No, they no did but, that, but they hang on, but hang on, years ago, but hang on, and they came back and but hang on, it's bec but it's become mundane. You know, you can't now when you're losing talk about rebuilding. Well, here's I mean, one it's of enough. Things. Other teams have also rebuilt. The Sharks have also rebuilt. Can't the you, Stormers have also. Uh, uh, well, they haven't and, apparently. I'm according to you. You know, but but I'm saying imploding. there are other teams in the competition that have also rebuilt. Yeah, but with you, new can't coaches. Just, you just can't yeah. pull out of the competition. No, man, I'm just saying. Yeah, I know, but if you, you keep making that, that, that bloody excuse. And the reality is that, that the, the Lions are also trying to play, play a different game plan instead of sticking to a game plan that in year and year, or over the last four years has been successful for them. You did, yeah, but minus the players that were implementing yeah, the you game. You play plan to now. the strengths of, your, of your, you your squad, play. and they haven't got the squad to play that game. Well, yeah. They actually haven't got a squad. No, they've got 15 water boys. Yeah. So apparently, when it comes to putting out okay, a fire, you know what? I'm right. just putting myself in the bad mood talking about the lions. Can we move on? <laughs> That's uh, like you got the blues to win. Can we yeah. get the doctor in here? It's, uh, <laughs> really, James is going to Vietnam. No, I'm not. Nineteen. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm never sitting in the middle again. <laughs> okay, we need a, we're seen from flatliners. Um, okay, so <clears throat> the lions have put James in a bad mood. I th <laughs> this isn't going to make it much better. I think the Blues are going to beat them by 25 plus. They're just going to run. There'll be one-way traffic. That's all for the first 10 minutes when they're at their fittest. Mm. But then um, Blues aren't good enough to put 25 differential on them. Well, they did it to the Stormers quite easily. I, I just don't at know. At Newlands. I love, I love this emphatic sort of bullshit that you guys come up with every once in a while. <laughs> this isn't going to happen. That's not going to happen. Well, we don't want to be nice. And on the other hand, I'm... Oh, indeed, oh, and we also don't want to sit and agree with each other all the time either. At the, tell us that story, the effort, the, the, the story about at the end of... Uh, the, 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 uh, the guys on New Zealand were asking who this guy was. Oh, yeah, no, when, uh, when Nas was like at his prime. They, <laughs> they phoned me and they said to me, shit, we want to get hold of that... That, uh, that player that you guys have got. I said, who's that? I said, Dave. They've done this, they've done that. They've scored the try, they've made the conversion. Like, that guy, Dave, who plays for you, does everything. He's so multi-talented. 
You gotta love Nas, eh? Yeah, nasty voter. Uh, listen, Nas is so highly sensitive. Just know we get a lawyer's letter from Nas. Uh, Nas, a great player. I've always enjoyed Nas, eh? And just the way he also kind of reinvented the English language. Because Nas would say when he made a joke, he would say, I don't understand. Are you, are you trying to fix your He would say, I don't understand. That was tongue in the cheek. <laughs> Last time I heard tiny in the cheek, it wasn't tiny in cheek, tiny in the cheek. Yeah. 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 Finish. It's like getting the goose flesh, yeah? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we're, we're in a better mood now. You're yeah. much better. Cool. See, that Thanks, my, Rocky. That's my job as a host. Yeah. Bring it back. Bring you out there of we go. Vietnam. Bring us out the doldrums. Yeah. So, Sun Wolves Crusaders. I, 41 points to giving the Sun Wolves. I'm not sure if that's enough. Sure. <laughs> I, think that, I think that could go beyond 60, to be honest. Yeah. Really, I think that could be the highest score in the competition to date. It could go to more like 80. They are playing opinion. it in Australia as a curtain raiser because Ooh. that's the Sun Wolves home game. Yeah. Um, I reckon that the Sun Wolves will cover that 41. Okay. So uh, the Crusaders will win 35 points. Well, I, I imagine they'll probably rest a lot of players. Yeah. So. Yeah. And David Avili is in hospital. He's probably out for the season, so that's a big blow for them in the backs. Yeah. Um, and I think it's the game where they rest the All Blacks. And they, no matter which team they pick, they're going to win. Yeah. But um, 41, it, 41 yeah. is tempting. I'll have to have a look and see. If, if they dress the team that I think, I think it'll be about a 35-point game. Um, James You're Super picking Brooks? the Sun Wolves again? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> not no. Not this time. <laughs> no, no, I'm not that uh, unrealistic okay. today. No, no, certainly uh, Crusaders. Look at again, as Kevin said, and you're right. Depends on what team the Crusaders are going to pick. Yeah. But again, I mean, their rugby's dominant. Their rugby's rampant. They they are just a good. They well coached. They're skillful. Um, yeah, I think it will go beyond the fifty points. To be honest. Yeah. Look, it depends on. I I, I think forty one is just a lot. That's mm. that's seven. Con that's six converted tries. That's a differential. So that's a differential. You always got to, you always got to, in a game like that, there could be an intercept or two that goes the Sun Wolves way. Mm -hmm. So you give them 12 or 14, so then they've got to get pretty much close to 60. Correct. Yeah. Okay, well. Which is not out of the realms of possibility when you see the, who the Wolves lose to last week? Brumbies. They took a beating there as well. Yeah. They've been taking a lot of beatings, right? And it's only going to get worse as the season goes on because they just don't have that depth. No depth whatsoever. No. Depth, no. Okay, then we've got the Reds and the Bulls. Seven and a half the Reds are favoured by in Greenland. Reds to win by 15. Okay. Yeah, okay. you know what? For the first time, I'm going to agree with you. Okay. I would also go Reds by 15. Very much my Jackie Moon philosophy. Everybody love everybody. Yeah, well done. I think Play the, nice I think on the camera. Reds, I think the Reds are going to beat them by 30. <clears throat> <laughs> you know, again... It wasn't that the Bulls uh, were good on the weekend because they won. So everybody went, wow, they won. And I, I mean, I was pro Bulls. I've always like, really liked them. They've been my, like my stepsister kind of thing, you know? So. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even go there, mate. <laughs> but uh, if you looked at that game against the Highlanders, they should have actually in the first half been down by, by 21 points. It wasn't that they were good. The Highlanders were just shocking on the game. The Highlanders are shocking. Yeah. Well, there we go. And, uh, you know, the Bulls won, but uh, it wasn't convincing. Out of that win, I wouldn't say that now nah, it's going to be the turn of their season and that they're going to go on the road and they end up winning games. Not at all. No, and I'm, you know, I'm not. The, the Reds aren't that good of a team, but but. Uh, but they're certainly better than the Bulls. Yeah, and they had a bloody good performance in Christchurch. No. Yeah. Uh, Twenty-four twenty outscored the Crusaders four tries to three. Yeah. I couldn't find anyone to kick a goal. Yeah. Um, or they would have won. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. and they've been. Even in that Sharks game, they were at 16, 15 up with, uh, with yeah. 20 minutes to go, but the Sharks came back well. They mm. stuck the Summers away by 60. The only one where they've really been panel beater was that second half in Buenos Aires, where they, they took a beat. Yeah. Yeah. They, they're not as bad as their scores would suggest, and, yeah. and, and the Bulls certainly are a bad side and not well coached. Jake White will be taking over as director of rugby there. Well, is that confirmed? Uh, yeah, I have it on good authority. And um, like, yeah, like, have, have like the inside lane you have, yeah, yeah like the Dobber. Stormers' victory. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that will change things as well when he comes in. I think okay. he'll improve the side. Yeah. Um, It'd be nice to have a Jake White ego Jake, at Jake, the Bulls. Jake, where, 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 where is he? He's still in Japan at the moment. He's coming to the Bulls he, as director of. Rugby. No, he'll last all year. Where have you been this last six days? <laughs> 
uh, I had a friend over from Serbia, and we went out to the winelands. We ah, okay. So it's going to be called the, the, the Jake lands. Jake Bulls. Yeah. Now he will he will put some. Me, my, me myself and Jake, and in brackets Bulls. Yeah. Well, the Bulls said they haven't confirmed it yet, but it, please God, it, they don't confirm. It it. Well, that's because yet. a lot of season tickets hold. I'll just. I think I'll vomit in my mouth. Well, my twelve watching the game at the moment. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now he will he will improve them and kind of work closely with Puerto, but I do feel for Rassi, uh, because. It's been going so well with the franchises at the moment. Yeah, I'm no. sure he'll get a lot of obstruction the minute Jay comes into the mix. Mm -hmm. so and let's be it. honest, I mean, you made a comment he's going to work with Puerta. Highly unlikely. Jay doesn't work well with anybody. No. Doesn't work. Though well he could anybody. be desperate for a job. I mean, he's pretty much mm -hmm. yeah. done the globe. Burnt bridges all over the world. I think the Toronto Rhinos might be looking for somebody. Yeah. <laughs> or Arrows, I don't know. What the Wolf back in league. <laughs> 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 Okay, so I've got Reds 30 plus. You guys have got the Reds by 15. Eh? Yeah. Okay. Either way, we're predicting a big victory for yes, the Sharks. Correct. For the Reds. Sharks, Stormers, we've gone over. We have indeed. Just for those that didn't get it, I said that the Sharks win by seven. You said 10. I said 10. Mark said that the Stormers will win comfortably. Comfortably by five. Emphatically by five. Yeah. You heard it first here. Yeah. And you'll hear it first when he gets it wrong next week. Um, can't wait until next week. Jaguars versus the Highlanders. What can you say about the oh. Highlanders that haven't been said by the game last week? No. Losing to the ball. <clears throat> 25 points to the Jaguars. Yeah. It's in Buenos Aires, is eh? it? Yeah, minimum of 20. Minimum of 20. They, they're good at home. and uh, You don't have to justify your springbok. And the Highlanders are, are good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to go Jaguars by 20 plus. And then we have the Brumbies and the Waratahs. Oh, God. An Australian derby. Yeah. Watched by 20. Yeah. yeah maybe. Not with the coronavirus doing this round. Where are they playing that game? Uh, Brumbies, ACT. Brumbies by 15. What's yeah. the spread? 12 and a half. Oh, you're learning. James? Yeah, I'd go 15. Yeah, I'm going to go Brumbies. God, you guys are agreeing with me too much now. No, but, uh, you know, when you're right, you're right. Uh, you know, well, unfo it's unfortunately, it's there's a lot of you that is wrong. It's because even, where, it's even difficult for where, you to get up where, for Where's, where's our stats? Well, I don't, need to, I don't need to. If they can put the stats oh. up, and then we'll see why Mark is seldom right. <laughs> well, no, he's, more, he's right 57.5% of the time. Yeah. That's, that's, My graph is on the up. Yeah. Mm, when we fiddle. Yeah, let's, you put that up there, John Ray, for people to have a laugh at. You'll still see that I'm winning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm catching you, Mr. Ferguson. Nas used to say the Curry Cup wasn't won in May. I'm telling you, Super Rugby, yeah, yeah, yeah. is not won in March. <laughs> no, but it can be lost in March, which you've managed to do, Mark. Well done. Uh, okay, so, <clears throat> Bumbies, we've all agreed. Uh, sh can't wait for the Stormers game. Neither can I. I'm going to be chomping at the bit. No doubt there'll be a few WhatsApp messages coming through to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark normally gets a bit quite smart ass on his WhatsApp, so he gets a bit sensitive. Yeah. So I actually deleted myself from the group as well. <laughs> yeah, he did a runner. <laughs> like Bruce. He did a runner. Jean Dre wants to know if you should bring him back. I said no. <laughs> you got to beg to come back. I want to be a willing participant. Yeah, though in right, fairness. Right, right now, I'm, I'm in a fairness, very reluctant participant. I did a runner before you guys did. Yeah, geez, today we were mortified by that. Really? Yo, no, I no, just no. can't stand I mean, Mark it. watched that me immediately said, can you believe Kev left? And then James said, yeah, because you said, hey, it's a great morning, the sun's shining. <laughs> said, yeah, it's way too enthusiastic. <laughs> Let him go. Exactly. Anyway, we've got, uh, we'll, we'll have the wrap for you guys Jeez, we on are Monday. Jeez, we have a bunch of misfits. <laughs> yep. Um, and thanks for tuning in, guys, and uh, hope all your bets are winning bets. Yeah. Thank you, Kevin. Thank Thanks, you, Mark. Guys. Cheers, sir. Thanks, guys. Thanks.